in only English. Once again, guys, we are going to continue on. Now, the circular windows over here to the right-hand side, those were in representation of the bubbles coming from the wine bottles of the Witching Freemans. <laughs> well, coming up right next door, that green and white hotel there to the right, that is another celebrity hotel back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That was called the Eden Rock Hotel, the Eden Rock. Let's get on up, welcome aboard. And we are to the left hand side, another Indian Creek. That Indian Creek is three miles long. On the far left hand side, that is Millionaire's Row. Some of the first mansions built on that island was built in the 1930s and 30s as well. Now, some of the first billionaires ever moved on that island was Harvey Firestone. So yes, everyone to the left hand side you'll see that Spanish style mansion right over there. That belongs to to all the rooms and all people. Julio Iglesia. Right over here to the left. Hey, everyone, we're gonna make this U-turn and we're gonna go back the other way, go back southbound towards South Beach. Boats to hide, but the owner of that boat was staying right across the street at the Fountain Blue. When he came over to check on his boat, he realized that someone was on the inside. So he went and called the authorities. When the authorities came out, Andrew Cunanan realized they were outside waiting. So he shot and killed himself on the inside of that boat. 
1997 right here in front of the Fountain Blue Hotel. Over here to the right hand side, that is the JCC, the Jewish Community Center. That part of Miami Beach over there to the right is all the Jewish community, the majority Jewish community. Right, if you look back over your right hand shoulder, you get a very good view of the skyline, Mid Beach, Fountain Blue, Eden Rock, and the Blue and Green Diamond condominiums. So then directly ahead of us, about a mile, is we are running to a popular hospital called Mount Sinai. Now this traffic light in front of us is called Pine Tree Drive. It was made very popular a few months ago. That's where Justin Bieber was caught speeding in his Lamborghini while driving under the influence right there at that intersection. So once again, everyone, right there to the right, directly ahead of us, and over to the left, all Jewish communities. Once again, this is called Pine Tree Drive. Now, Pine Tree Drive owes its name to those very big trees that you see right there. And you're also going to see some very big ones. Those are Australian pines, planted here in the 1920s by the founder of the beach, John Collins. Once again, he was a farmer, and those trees were planted here to protect his crops from the high winds coming off of the beach as well as the sea salt that was destroying a lot of his crops before these trees were planted.
Once again, this is Pine Tree Drive. Unlike South Beach, which is a Mediterranean revival, this is Mediterranean revival style district here that we're driving through now. South Beach is Art Deco. Once again, very big Jewish community. You'll notice throughout all of Miami Beach, all the sidewalks are red. These red sidewalks is that they reflect the sun better. So if you walked on these sidewalks without your shoes, you will not burn your feet. That is the same reason for those red shingles on some of these houses. It prevents the sun from heating up your roof so you do not have to turn the air conditioning that low in your home. Once again, a Mediterranean revival style district, Mid Beach. Now Miami Beach has three sections. It has South Beach, known for its hotels, live entertainment, restaurants, popular hotels. Mid Beach, the residential area. And then you have North Beach, a little further up in the back of the bus. North Beach is where you'll find Aventura, Aventura Mall, Surfside, Sunny Isles, Durban Beach. On Durban Beach is where you'll find the homes of Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton once had an album called 461 Ocean Drive. That was yeah, that was his address actually in Golden Beach. Also you have from Golden Beach is Bill Gates, one of the most popular. Now South Beach did not always have that name. It was all just Miami Beach. All of it was Miami Beach. South Beach got that name in 1995-96. A lot of well, there was a couple of German businessmen that were coming down and buying a lot of those Art Deco style buildings that we saw earlier. Those were run down apartments in the 1970s and 80s. They started buying those apartments, changing them and making them into either restaurants, hotels, etc. Well, one of those German businessmen had a daughter that came down one year with them. And she is the one that tagged that name, South Beach, 95, 1995, 96. Inside, that is the Hebrew Academy Elementary. To the left is the Hebrew Academy High School. And again, to the right is the Hebrew Academy Middle School. Now, once we cross this light, we are now officially back in South Beach. A little building coming up to your right, right there, that is the original fire station built in Miami Beach, 1930s. As well, no longer used as a station to deploy engines. The new one is directly behind it. The small one in front now is the administrative building. Coming up to the right, there is a public school, Miami Beach Senior High. One of the original, so because of the growing population, they built it bigger and a little further north. So the alumni is the Avenue of We're going to make this left and coming up on the left hand side that is the Hebrew Academy Ele uh, I'm sorry the Hebrew Holocaust I'm still stuck on the elementary that is the Holocaust right there you see the names on the inside of that circle and on the far back wall those are some of the six million Jews that lost their lives during the Holocaust you see that A around the wrist that is for the Auschwitz concentration camp that dome in the back is the dome of contemplation also has a garden of meditation that is free and it is open to the public, the Holocaust Memorial. Over to the left hand side, that Art Deco style building right there is the Miami Beach Convention Center. In 1964, the fighter Muhammad Ali shocked the world when he won his first World Heavyweight Championship and knocked out Sonny Liston. Now at that time his name was not Muhammad Ali, it was Cassius Clay. That is also the home of the International Auto Show, the International Home Show, and Comic-Con. Coming directly ahead of us, that is a man's dream and every woman's, well, a man's nightmare and every woman's dream. 
Macy's. Macy's before it was Macy's, that was a Florida department store called Birdines. You'll see that sign at the very bottom. That is an Art Deco sign. Because of the Art Deco preserved art, that sign could not be removed. It had to remain on that building. Sunshine was one of the first department stores built here on Miami Beach in the 1970s. That light still lights up at night time. Now, the original founder of Macy's actually died during the Titanic sinking. If you saw the movie The Titanic and you saw that couple going down on the boat, that was the creator of Macy's. Strauss's. Over here to the left hand side, that is the Miami Beach City Hall. That is not the original one, but this one was used in the movie Bad Boys with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. That was used as the police station in those movies. show the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast and the recordings of I Love Lucy with Desi Dance and Lucille Ball. That building was built in 1934. To the left, Temple Emmanuel, the fifth largest synagogue in the United States. Well, this is stop number nine. And over there to the right, the New World Symphony Academy, the only full-time academy in the United States. Here's second number one, stop number nine, Lincoln Road Mall. Mm-hmm. 